so oh Jesus what is wrong with me filming today so hello over there and welcome to this YouTube channel uh, my name is Julia and in today's clip I'm actually doing obviously a makeup tutorial on this look but it's a bit interesting because basically I decided to film this because I talked with a friend to actually do a collab on Instagram so basically we decided to use blue blood to create a look on itch on thoughts I can't speak today uh, apparently but basically what we do is create this look create a look not this look I created this look Livia created another look <sighs> so we each created a look with the palette and we are gonna post it on our Instagram like a kind of like photo gallery so my picture with hers and I'm actually gonna leave her Instagram in the description down below because she has incredible talent and she does some amazing looks I really love them and I might actually leave a sneak peek next to myself here just so you can actually see what I'm talking about uh, so I'll compel you to actually definitely check her out but yeah I decided to actually film this and I it is the second time I'm doing this look and it's because the lighting was crap but I'm happy it turned out exactly the same as yesterday so without further ado enjoy the process so I'm starting off by priming my face with the professional from benefit and basically I'm applying it underneath my eyes on my forehead around my nose and you can see I'm dragging a lot and then tapping a bit but mostly dragging and what I'm trying to say is please don't drag as much as I do in the clip itself because what's gonna happen is you'll have a lot of flakiness around like you can see here so yeah don't do it next I'm going with the Catrice liquid camouflage concealer to actually prime my eyes I love it as a primer for the eyelid so I'm you know covering my eyelid and kind of like blend it in with my foundation sponge in terms of colors and stuff like that I'll leave everything in the link down below and now I'm starting off with blue blood like I said in the intro and I'm using shade flourishing and I'm applying it at the end of the eye like you see in the video itself and I'm trying slightly to drag it in the crease but I'm keeping everything in actual the outer corner of the eye and then switching with a more uh, fluffy but like very flat brush to kind of like work out the product within that zone and not apply too much to the point it's gonna be you know very hard to work with and going again with the other brush with a fluffier one applying the product blend applying the product blend and now I'm going with shade Mintia and I'm applying it to actually kind of like blend in the edges of the eye. I found this one works the best and it's kind of like the same turquoise minty shade. Obviously it's called Mintia. So I'm going back again with the other brush to blend everything in and I'm switching back and forth like I always do. And I'm going with Untouchable which is a very pink pale shade which is beautiful and I'm applying it only in the inner part of the eye until like the middle of it with a flat brush as you can see and then I'm blending everything in and I'm going straight with cremated at the end of the eye to smoke that look a bit and I'm dragging it as the other shade as well like a wing line ish eyeshadow sort of thing and also getting it in the crease a bit and obviously blending everything in. I want to be blended in one another very seamlessly. And I'm applying again the untouchable shade to make sure untouchable and cremated are really, really well blended. And now I'm going with this PS liquid glitter eyeshadow on with a very thin brush because this is what I'm gonna use for my eyeliner first. So this is an amazing product because it's very, very opaque. So it's gonna work amazing as a eyeliner. So I'm taking my time, making sure, you know, I'm getting the right shape, shape I want myself to. So I'm literally dragging it. It's very easy to work with. This is what I'm trying to point out. And like you see in here, it's very, very opaque. And I'm letting it to dry, making sure it's really, really dry because otherwise it's going to turn into a mess because I'm going with this Kalos 
Cosmetics liner in black and this is perfect because that line is so thin the brush itself that is gonna allow me to work on top of the eyeshadow because I want to put like two eyeshadow sorry the actual liner I want to have two liners on top of each other but obviously I want both to be able to be seen so this is perfect because that brush is very very thin it's gonna take a while so please don't rush into it if you do mistake like I actually did a bit you'll see in a second we're gonna correct if, like correct that so you will see how literally now I have the pink shadow glitter cream on the brush and literally I'm dragging it on top of where the black went a bit like over the pink but make sure both of them are very very dry and I'm cleaning with a wipe and making sure I still leave a bit of the shadow underneath the wing I don't, I don't know I just felt it looks nice to have that kind of like shadowy effect and now I'm going with two foundations one of them is from Maybelline the 24 hour full coverage foundation super stay and the other is the ordinary coverage foundation and I'm combining both of them because I like the coverage from the Maybelline but I love the texture from the ordinary I'm gonna leave everything in the description down below because I don't remember the colors but yeah it's it works just as fine for me in terms of color and textures so I'm blending everything in taking my time no rush and I'm going straight in with my concealer from Revolution and I'm taking one eye at a time. If you've been seeing my pre previous clips, you know the drill. This is how I like to do it. Taking my time on one at a time. I feel it looks the best. Going on my blemishes, which are not that many this time, but I'm still going because it kind of like was showing some redness. And I'm setting everything in with the NYX. And this is me trying to not make any crease underneath my eye, so that's why I was saying it like that. Placing that powder underneath the eye, on my forehead and on my nose as well, just a teeny tiny bit. And now I'm going with this brow pomade from MUA, and I'm literally filling in my brows. I don't have like a very complicated routine myself. And I'm brushing through uh, them the product and then going with the Essence Brow Gel to make sure they look as fluffy as I can make them. This is an amazing product for that. And now I'm making sure the product is very nicely blended within the brow itself. Going with the bronzer, this is from the Beauty Crop. It's literally one amazing bronzer. It's not too like bronzy for my skin tone, so I'm you know bronzing my, my cheeks and my forehead as well, the side of it. And I'm going straight in on my jawline as well after I'm blending a tiny bit more. That's how I like it, that's how I apply it. You do you, you know the drill. You don't have to follow me. And I'm getting the powder I used before from NYX and literally make the lines very crisp on the actual face. This is how I correct it if I have time. Sometimes I don't do, but this time I was like, eh, might as well. Going with Kiko blush. This is from Water Flower Magic sort of campaign launch, whatever, in shade brown sugar. And I'm taking it very minimalistically because I like my blush to be extremely unable to be seen. I like it very natural basically, so this is what I'm doing. And now I'm taking shade Coolinen from the Jeffree's palette and I'm using it as a highlight, yes, yes, yes. Highlighting that cheekbone with that eyeshadow is very blinding and I barely touched the pan, just, you know, staying. And this is what I'm using for my highlight on the actual cheekbones itself. And now I'm going with this Kiko glow fusion powder in shade 01 and literally this is very subtle and I, I like it to apply it on my cheeks and on my sides of the forehead on my nose on my cupid's bow but i apply it over the culinan shade as well because it has a more golden tone to it and i prefer that but it doesn't have the intensity of the shade culinan from the blue blood and this is me a second ago realizing I did not do the contour for my nose so I'm going straight in with the same product I used for contouring my face 
and yeah this is the drill i'm gonna leave the link from kylie jenner's video that actually learned me how to do this because i learned from her pretty good video i would say and i'm blending everything in after i drag those lines around and i'm placing the highlight again because i realized it, it was all barely gone placing some powder to make sure everything looks nice and smooth and going again with cremated shade underneath the eye to smoke that eye underneath part blending everything in to look smooth and i'm getting this liquid glitter eyeshadow which is actually just glitter the other one is from the same brand is from primark ps but this is more not true the, to the actual advertising it's just purely glitter that's it at this time i'm using for my first time online lashes i apply it with duo and i'm just kind of like showing you how i do it on one eye it's not the best video showing how i do it but i might do a separate one basically so I'm showing this side because literally what I'm doing is in, in a couple of seconds I would be like oh I don't like how it looks so I'm literally just ripping it off and what, I'm, what, what the point is is that leave it just to kind of like set for 30 seconds always because you can play with it around that time because it will stick again which is pretty damn amazing now I'm using this Benefit Bad Girl Bang well, mascara I don't understand how people put mascara and then the falsies. I do it the other way, which it's kind of like annoying because you have to clean them afterwards. And then I'm taking these studs that are from Poundland, so all of that was for one pound. And I'm placing with this tool, which I'm gonna leave a link in the description because I don't remember how it's called, but it's making a life easier to apply things since I have nails, really long nails using the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in shade Mannequin. This is my favorite nude for my skin tone. And I'm just applying that all over my lips, obviously. And I forgot I did not highlight my, my waterline, so I'm doing that with this multi-purpose eyeliner from I Heart Revolution. This is the nude one. And I'm using this high gloss from PS Primark. This is the most amazing gloss i have ever tried it makes my looks my lips look very wet so i really love it so yeah this is the finished look i really like how it turned out it's really nice i love how glittery it is i hope you enjoyed it as well the process how it turned out and hopefully i will see you in the next one kisses bye bye